Oop la lo attack. Kanuik pizzi. Today is Wednesday. What day? All day today. Let's be responsible. Always try, do our best, cooperate with others, and let's treat everyone with respect, including ourselves. We've been working on circling up, and some classes are starting to do awesome. I have an example to show you. This example is 39 seconds long, and let's see what our fifth graders can do. Circle, Circle up. up. Beautiful. Beautiful. All, right, All right, return, return to your to chairs. chairs. Oops, I made an error. That was actually over 50 seconds. I didn't catch the exact amount. My mistake, guys. But they did a really nice job. David and I will be coming around to see how you're doing today. Teachers, if you have a time you want us to show up, send it an email. Otherwise, we'll drop by and give you a wave and see if it works for you. I'm excited to see what you kids are up to. Every day... We say the same thing in the morning. We say, all day today I'll be responsible, don't we? Be responsible. Sometimes I have to think about what those words mean. What do they mean for me? What do they mean for a kindergartner or a fifth grader or a high schooler? Those are all really different things. So today we're gonna take a minute during assembly to talk about that. Students, can you pause the video please and go ahead and circle up. Be responsible. That can mean so many different things. It can mean being on time or thinking ahead. And what about taking care of things? Then there's keeping your promises. And sometimes it means doing your job or being helpful. And it could also mean making good choices. Or it could mean watching over others like friends or little children. It could also mean taking care of yourself, not making excuses, cleaning up, doing what you said you would, and even thinking of and planning for the future. Today, while we are circled up, I would like you guys to use your good brains and your imagination to answer the following question. What does it look like when we're not responsible? Not being responsible, what does that look like? This is going to look different based on whether or not you're little or you're big. So... So, for little folks, I want you to think about what if you're not responsible with your jacket or your boots? What would that look like? What if you were not responsible with trash, like a candy wrapper? What would that look like? What if you had a dog? What would it mean to not be responsible with your dog? Or your bike? What does it mean to not be responsible with your bike? What about your toys? What about if you had muddy feet? What might happen if your feet were all wet and full of mud? What could you do that wouldn't be responsible? And last but not least, what about your dirty dishes after you eat? If you were not being responsible, what would you do or not do with those? For our older students, we're talking about things like a job, like taking care of your house, taking care of your Honda, 
taking care of your future, taking care of your grandparents, taking care of your fishnet or your guns. If you're not responsible, what does that look like? And there are some things for all of us to talk about. Like, what does it look like in your classroom if you're not responsible? What does it look like in your home if you're not responsible? What does it look like if you weren't very responsible to your friends or with your friends? How about what if you're not responsible with your money or your phone? What does that look like? So, here's your job. Can you and your teacher or an adult that's with you make a list of some things that are not responsible? See what you guys can come up with that would fit your age. It's going to be different, right? Way different for little kids than big kids and seniors. Oh boy, it's going to be different for you guys too. Please get that list all done and taken care of this morning in a few minutes in your circle time. So share your ideas, think hard, be polite to each other and take turns and have a wonderful Wednesday.